Hello everyone, this is Lainey from Lens Party Events. Thanks for being here and if you'd like to watch more of our videos, please subscribe our channel and click the notification bell and select all so you'll get updated when we upload the new videos. And after watching our videos, please, please click like, comment and share. Cheers! So after the event, I put everything, all my linens in an IKEA bag because they are very strong. So I have here are the chair sashes, um, tablecloths, and chair covers. Um, so I have to count them and then um, I have to untie all the bows because after the event, we just had to pull the uh, chair sashes out from the chair so it's quick. Then I'll just untie it when I get home. That is, bef I do this um, before I wash them. I only hand wash my organza chair sashes. So they are now ready so for washing. So um, white. I have to, this is only my, my, um, the way I do it. So I soak it. I use my uh, bathtub in soaking my linens because they are big. I can put all the tablecloths and chair covers. And here I am, I use um, mask because um, the smell of the laundry powder gives me a headache, so um, I always use mask when I do the soaking. Um, um, I do this overnight because I get annoyed if I don't soak it. Then if I just wash it straight away, um, after the washing, I can still see uh, like an orange stains, like sauce. So I don't want to like after washing then I have to wash it again so I better soak it and then after soaking overnight the next day I start um, looking all the sauce before I take it off but later on in the video I will show you how for now I am showing you how I hand wash my uh, chair sashes I just filled up the sink with water and then i put a liquid soap i just rinse twice and hang them because i had in the past i did not wash it i think there was food left on the sash and it was uh, moldy so in the next day then i have to check again one by one if what's left on the stain usually like there's still some mark of the stain so i have to spray like a stronger spray and then hand wash it and then ready to go that's that's the way i'm just showing you my way i'm not sure if this is a long way or a short way but <laughs> uh, sometimes i use bleach if it's really strong uh, stain then after i do this one here then I have to go to the commercial uh, washing machine because it's quicker it's big so. and it saved me heaps of time so now I'm here in laundry so I use two washing machines but I will use only one dryer because dryer is bigger than the washing machine and while waiting here I just can play my phone while waiting and play a game and after here i'm going home now i'm home and start folding it this, this is my round tablecloth uh, the diameter is 305 centimeter um, and i'd like to fold it while they are still warm um, because obviously this is from the dryer and um, because for me, it's not too crinkled when I iron it, when I fold it while still warm. Then I have also to fold my uh, chair sashes because I really try my best to fold it neatly because I don't, 
iron them like organza such as i don't iron them but satin i have to iron satin but then i have also to fold my chair covers because i just like that way it's not so crinkled when i use it and then i put them all in the box in, in the storage and ready for the next event and i hope um, you get the idea of how to clean up your linens after the event and um, see you on the next video. Thank you for watching.